guys, it's Natalie, and today I'm doing something a little bit different. I have barred a kitchen, and we are going to do a recipe for a smoothie. And, you know, I think a lot of people, they run out of their house, and they don't have time for breakfast, and that's a really bad mistake to make, especially if you're trying to maintain or lose your weight. And so I'm going to give you a really quick recipe for a super healthy smoothie, and it's going to be so quick and easy. Okay, now before we go into actually making the smoothie, I want to take you through the different ingredients that we're using so that you understand a little bit of why we've chosen the things that we have chosen. Okay, so we're going to start off with some milk. This can be uh, vitamin D, 2%, 1%, whatever you prefer. Of course, that's going to change the calorie amount that you're using. Uh, this is about six ounces. We may or may not use all of this. Or you can use soy milk if you're lactose intolerant. Um, so that's your preference. And then we're also going to add orange juice. Now this is organic. Uh, that way we're ensured that there's no pesticides in it. A lot of times they're also higher in vitamins. And of course, orange juice is gonna be loaded with vitamin C, which is gonna be great for immune function. And then this particular one that I chose has added calcium, which actually will increase the absorption of vitamin C. So, um, so those are the two liquids that we're using. We're also going to add uh, goji juice. This is organic pure goji juice and this is loaded with antioxidants. So this is going to help combat stress. This is also going to help support your immune system. Uh, so that's fabulous especially to add to anything that um, you know you can think of but it's specifically smoothies. Uh, we're also going to add frozen mixed berries. Of course these are also organic. Everything that we're using is organic. Um, and I've chosen mixed berries. I think it adds a great flavor to the smoothie. So that's uh, what we're going to use there. We're also going to add extra virgin coconut oil. And I did a video recently about the benefits of coconut oil, and that's going to help you uh, maintain and even lose your weight, increase your metabolism, increase absorption of all the nutrients. So with combined with everything that we are already putting in the smoothie, it actually will help your digestive system get all the benefits even more. Uh, we're also going to add flaxseed and this is going to provide a really good source of healthy oils as well as good fiber and this is organic as well and, uh, and then we're going to add some protein powder and I have whey protein here and this is uh, the one that I use personally and the one that I recommend because it's hormone free which is fabulous and, uh, and has a great flavor too, and there's no alternative sweeteners in it, or, or, and it's actually sweetened with stevia, which is a great sweetener to use. It's low calorie and it's natural. Uh, and then we also have organic hemp protein. Now you don't have to use both of these proteins, but this is a different option for you. Hemp protein is highly digestible, and, um, and so it's great for someone who is having, you know, has digestive symptoms or or digestive issues um, because it doesn't take a whole lot to digest that hemp protein and um, so you can use either one or you can do half and half and I do want to mention with the hemp protein it does make the smoothie a little grainier so if you're sensitive to you know texture then you may want to try the whey protein first and see how you can tolerate that and then just for tartness we're going to add half an organic lemon uh, just it kind of balances out all the flavors that we're adding and I believe that that is it so now we get to blend now to start off you want to put your liquids in first so that those liquids are at the bottom of the blender close to the base if you add the liquids at the top and all the dry ingredients are at the bottom the motor and the blender actually has a really hard time blending everything so you'll end up with chunks and we want it to be you know smooth consistency so always add your liquids first okay so we're going to start with our milk first and I'm going to add about four ounces of liquid of the milk that'll give it a creamy consistency and then we're going to add about half a cup or four ounces of orange juice and then we can actually go ahead and add starting add the other ingredient so let's do our goji juice and we're gonna do about a tablespoon of this and you don't have to get precise, you know, you don't actually have to measure. Um, once you get used to seeing how much of something that you need to add, you don't, you don't have to measure every time. 
Um, and then we can add a little bit of our coconut oil. And we're just going to add about a teaspoon. You don't want to add too many calories. So we're just going to add a little bit of this to give it some good flavor and get all those health benefits. And okay, now we're on to our flaxseed. I'm going to add a tablespoon of our flaxseed. Remember, this is going to give you some really good fiber. And the great thing about it is it does blend really fine, so it, it doesn't it doesn't make the smoothie like a real grainy texture. Okay, now we're going to add our berries. We're going to add about a cup of frozen mixed berries, and these are organic. And again, you don't have to be exact. Okay, then we're going to do half of our lemon. And I've kind of, I've actually taken the seeds out already so they don't fall in here, but if they do fall in there, it's going to blend it up anyway, so it doesn't actually matter. And if you don't like your smoothies tart, you don't have to add a lemon. That's just a preference. It is adding actually more vitamin C, but if you prefer it to be more of a creamy uh, texture and a creamy taste, then you don't have to add that. And now we're going to add our protein powder. Just do one scoop, and uh, that has about 20 grams of protein, which is a great amount of protein to add to a smoothie. The other reason why I like whey protein is because it fluffs up the smoothie and it provides more of a fullness factor and you're actually getting less ingredients in here. Um, all right, I believe that that is it. So now we can blend. Now, some people like a thinner consistency smoothie, and if that's the case, then you this is probably what you're going to like. If you want it to be thicker, which is actually what I prefer, um, all you have to do is add a little bit more fruit and that, because it's frozen, it'll act like ice and make it thicker. Um, but it's just up to you, your preference. All right. So here we are. So we have the perfect size for a smoothie. And here you are, look how beautiful that looks. And it tastes so good. I could totally drink these every day and I have them a lot because they taste so good. You would never know that you put all this stuff in there because sometimes people freak out because it's gonna taste too healthy. You know, I don't like when stuff tastes too healthy, but this totally tastes like a fruit shake. I mean, it doesn't taste like it has, you know, anything in it that you wouldn't like. It's awesome. So the reason why I love doing smoothies and drinking smoothies is number one, they are so quick and easy to make and you can add anything you like. And you know, if you don't like berries, you can add bananas and, you know, frozen pineapple. I mean, you can really change it up according to your taste preferences. So that's what's so great about it. And then you can add so much stuff to it. And because it's blending up, you don't taste the individual ingredients. So that's fabulous. That's why I love it. And then also it is, you know, it's something that you can make really fast, less than five minutes and run out the door and drink it in the car. So it's not like you have to sit here and take all this time. It's so great. And I want you to try it. So try this recipe, do, you know, do what I did and then leave your comments and tell me how you liked it. And again, I want to emphasize that if you want it thicker, you just add a little bit more fruit and that will make it a thicker consistency. Or if you want it, you know, even thinner, then you just add a little bit more liquid. So leave your message, leave your comments, subscribe to our videos, and I will see you next time. Bye.